posted last Monday, uh, but I couldn't resist the opportunity of just adding a video blog uh, of today's practice visit. Uh, I am in the centre of Luxembourg and uh, I'm visiting today uh, with Dr Violetta Klaus, uh, who is a dentist here in town. Um, I had absolutely no preparation for the day in terms of visuals of the practice. Violetta and I have communicated by email uh, for quite some time and uh, when I walked through the door this morning uh, it was just one of those wow factor moments and so I just wanted to share that with you. We're going to go on a quick tour of the practice, uh, first of all into the reception area and uh, this is going to be very quick, we're not going to dwell on it, I just want you to enjoy uh, the moment as I did. Follow me through if you wouldn't mind um, into the patient lounge area and uh, you know, if that's not a wow factor, I don't know what is, that fantastic uh, light show uh, at the end of the corridor. Follow me, let's go further down. The first place that people go when they visit the practice is into the console room, so follow me and uh, we'll take a look in here. Now the first thing that you'll notice behind me, in fact I might be in silhouette, um, is that we are on one of the main thoroughfares in the city of Luxembourg. What we've got out here uh, is uh, a boulevard that's known as John F. Kennedy. It's kind of the main street through from the centre of town out to the airport. And around us we've got the uh, European Parliament. Uh, and of course, as you would expect in Luxembourg, we've got bankers and lawyers and uh, probably a lot of IT people as well. Now Violetta tells me that within literally a few minutes walking distance of here, maybe 2,000 people working in an office environment, and certainly within this financial and political district, around about 12,500 people working here. And when we ran the practice management software earlier today and looked at the demographics, certainly two thirds of the patients that come in here between the ages of 25 and 39, and then there's a long tail of people uh, from there. So it's a relatively youthful demographic, bankers, lawyers, support staff, office environment. And that's why you've got this fantastic contemporary environment. So what we've got here is a lovely area for doing a new patient consult. And everywhere you go in this building, we've got glass looking out on the street. Beautifully decorated, very contemporary. So here's the console room. Let's go and have a look at surgery number one. Absolutely fantastic environment, very contemporary, very. toilets, which is quite something. Oh, you'll see the letter at the back there as well. Hello. Uh, who's my camera Hi. lady for the day. Uh, lovely patient toilet. Let's carry on. Uh, we've got a little area here for making uh, teas and coffees for the uh, patients whilst they are waiting. And then into surgery two. Now, uh, unfortunately, we have an idiotic situation in Luxembourg, which is in fact that uh, it is not possible for hygienists to treat uh, patients. Hygienists are illegal in this country, believe that or not. Uh, so, technically, although we have a hygienist or a therapist in here, we need a dentist who would actually see uh, patients. But again, surgery three, slightly smaller, but well kitted out. And then there's another room down here which is quite interesting uh, because. What's also happened is that Violetta has set up an online consumables shop. So if you go and take a look at www.vioblank, that's V-I-O-B-L-A-N-C dot com, and you'll see on the homepage there's a little Union Jack you can uh, uh, click for an English translation, beginning to build up a consumables business, and this is the office uh, from which that consumables business is being run. So just follow me back down to uh, reception. Uh, already uh, the 
number of new patients that have visited the practice has been incredible. One final point, in Luxembourg, no marketing permitted whatsoever. Uh, if you do manage to find Violetta's uh, website, you will see that it's very static, very dry. That's because of the regulations. No uh, outside marketing, no direct marketing, no web marketing, no social media marketing, nothing at all. You just have to be there. You can't even have a sign outside on the street uh, or an A board. There's no signage on the outside of the building. You don't even have a practice name. Uh, it has to be handled very, very carefully. But because of the sheer beauty of this practice and also because of Violetta's quality as a dentist, uh, the numbers of patients that have come in here uh, are absolutely fantastic. I've spent this morning looking at the new patient acquisition numbers and also looking at the financial performance of the practice. Absolutely out of this world. Brilliant. What have we talked about today? We've talked about the fact that Violetta would like to work with a treatment coordinator, uh, somebody that's got those TCO skills but also has command of three languages, French, English and German, and also looking for an extra nurse in the building as well. Uh, so if you're out there watching this video blog and if you know of anybody that's either got nursing skills or treatment coordination skills and has got good languages as well, I tell you there is a fantastic opportunity available in this business right now. Thank you for listening.